Hey, hey, what's up everybody? This is Alex on Vinyl here, and I'm making another PS3 tutorial. As you can see, today is July 11th, and uh, I'm going to kind of make this tutorial as fast as possible and quick as easy as I can. Um, basically, this tutorial is going to explain to you what restoring a f restoring the file system does and what the difference is between restoring your file system on your PS3 and rebuilding your database. Now to access both of these um, we're gonna have to enter the PS3's recovery mode. So if you have a fat or a slim it works pretty much the same way uh, let me go ahead and demonstrate. So, as you can see, I've got a slim here. Um, the only difference between the fat and the slim is the way that the button works. This is an actual button. Uh, the other one on the fat, you just rub your finger over it. It's, I think it's touchpad sensitive. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and turn off our PS3. So... Okay, now that it's off, we press and hold. That was our first beep. Now we wait for the second. There's our second beep. And then we just keep it held down until it turns off. Okay, now we do the same thing again, except this time we're going to hear another two beeps or three beeps. Now three. There we go. Let go. Make sure your controller is plugged in to your USB cord, which is connected to your PS3, and press the home button. Okay, so restoring your file system, basically what this does is it tries to attempt to fix any corrupted data that may have happened, say if your power went out and you lost and you were in the middle of saving and you lost power and your game save is all messed up and you can't do anything. This will attempt to fix any anything uh, anything corrupted with your PS3. Rebuild database is another option that you can use for speeding up your PS3. Say it's been a while since you've really done any maintenance on your PS3, such as, you know, um, you've, you've gotten a lot of trophies, and you've noticed that your PS3 has kind of slowed down a little bit. Um, rebuild database will basically clean it up a little bit and make it run smoother. It gets rid of all the temporary data that gets stored and cleans it out, kind of like defragging a computer. So either one that you select, um, it's gonna you know it's gonna do the job. Uh, in this case, rebuild database did its job already for me, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like. So we hit that, it'll say, if you want to rebuild your database on this storage, blah, blah, blah. It says that saved information will, will be deleted. Basically, it's just saying that only certain things will be deleted. None of your game or save data is going to be deleted. Just probably maybe a few messages and playlists, maybe even nothing at all. It's just giving you kind of a warning. But anyway, go ahead and hit X. It's going to say preparing. And then once it does this, you'll get a black screen. Pretty familiar. Should pop up here in just a minute. Yes, we want to use the HDMI. So we go ahead and hit controller and click yes. And it's going to ask me about that. Now it's going to say that it's going to rebuild the database. And when this is done, you should notice that your PS3 will run drastically faster. So basically that's just the tips on how to keep your PS3 running smooth. And 
end, you know, without any glitches. Um, I hope this has helped some of you. If it hasn't, then, you know, hey, whatever. Um, if you want to add me on PSN, uh, check out my other videos. I've got it displayed in my other videos. And, uh, yeah, hope this has helped. Take care.